today is what day six day six of my raw vegan fast and in this little episode is it an episode <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it's not an episode, but in this vlog, <laughs> I saw the episode like I'm on TV and shit. Um, in this vlog, I want to mention foods that I used to consume because I thought they were healthy for my body that I no longer consume anymore because it's either hybrid or too acidic. So, because I know somebody's going to ask, uh... This is healthy food, why don't you consume that anymore? Again, it's either too acidic on a pH uh, balance level or it is a hybrid food. So here we go, it's a list. I have my phone, I'm just gonna read down and I'm pretty sure there's so many other things that I can't think of right now, but for now this is a short list of the things that I can remember. So, spinach beans, grapefruit, kiwi, cranberries, almonds, peanuts, cabbage, shiitake mushrooms, pineapples, broccoli, uh, sugar, white sugar especially. Um, well, I, we don't do brown sugar either. So the way that we sweeten things is with raw agave nectar. That's it. Um, tomato sauce, brown rice, celery, carrots, corns, collard greens, plantains, aka platanos, yuca, string beans, wheat, and oatmeal. And this is just a short list of the things that I used to consume and I no longer consume or really even miss. So, um, one of the things that turned me off a lot about cabbage, which was something that I loved to eat. Like I used to do this cabbage mix with tomatoes and just used to season it to perfection that I no longer, <laughs> I wouldn't even dare because I've seen a video on social media where they're just like fixing it from this liquid. And it was kind of like, that's kind of creepy because they do so much to our foods and we think that we're consuming foods but it's just food like items that are not food at all so they're just completely made up they're hybrid and they promote it as something healthy when it's not one question that I get a lot ever since I've been a vegan is well do you eat fish or seafood Vegans, we don't consume any form of flesh. Anything that, that has ever breathed or um, has eyes, mouth, or that can poop, we don't consume it. And we also do not touch their products as far as like honey and anything that, that's produced by animals, we leave that untouched. Um, so I don't do dairy. I don't do, uh, yeah, I don't do any form of dairy. So there's no milk, no eggs, no cheese, none of that. And of course, absolutely no flesh. So I don't really have to mention that. I don't really have to mention the fact that I don't eat meat because that's very evident that we vegans don't do. So no, no fish, no fish, you guys. If you eat fish and you're calling yourself a vegan, you're under the wrong title. Again, it is a title and I, I honestly don't like labels, but it gives people an idea of what it is that you, that you are. So that's something that I get, I get a lot of questions about and I always give it the side. I like, you trying to be funny or is this a very sincere question? Because we don't consume anything anything uh, that was flesh, including any form of seafood, crabs, shrimps, fish, scallions, and all that other extra stuff. So 
today on day six I'm feeling I'm feeling the same and it feels like I keep repeating myself in these vlogs but that's just how I've been feeling I feel energetic my energy level is still the same um, and today I had a a mixed berry smoothie with chia seeds drank water and later on I will probably have a squash spaghetti or um, salad I just been like really focused on salad and it's pretty good <laughs> it's pretty good but I'll probably yeah today I'll probably just do my squash spaghetti and I don't know I haven't done much research like I said that I would just to see what kind of raw uh, recipes I can find um, I skimmed through a few videos where they make raw um, vegan pizza and raw cheesecake cheesecake and so many creative things but I haven't really gotten into the whole depth of checking it out and just seeing what the ingredients is about. I'll probably do so when I have time and this weekend maybe. Um, if not, again, I'll be on fruits and vegetables and I'm pretty much okay with that. And what else has been going on? Gym. Yeah, the gym. You know, working out last night, very late. I was just like, Again, I'm like energetic, so I was like, I am going to do my stretches and I'm going to do a mini workout and I felt absolutely amazing. I'm still sore from the gym and that's always a good sign. If you go to the gym and you don't feel sore the next day, you need to step it up a little bit because now the workout has just become a warm up for you. The muscles have gotten used to whatever routine you have been following and it's now time to step it up so right now I'm extremely sore I'm sore right here I'm sore on my back I'm sore on my booty and I am sore uh, on my abs because we did some ab work and yeah that's about it but yeah I'm gonna continue to work out because that's what makes me feel great and accomplished but this was a very short vlog and I wanted to come on here to, to share that. So no more spinach. I used to love spinach. No more spinach or cabbage or broccoli and everything else that I mentioned that I thought was like, oh yeah, I'm eating healthy. This is good for me. And in reality, it's not. <laughs> So I thank you all for watching and uh, I'm not sure what else to include in these vlogs. Um, I don't want it to be too repetitive. I want it to be informative. So if you guys have any questions on whatever it is that you want me to document, um, please shoot me a message or leave a comment down below and let me know and I'll try to work around that and answer your questions and that about it <laughs> so until next time i thank you all for watching and what was i gonna say huh <laughs> and this was look he's like and this was vani 3000 <laughs> peace